Hey Jamie, it's Brody here from Civic Toyota. Just here to do the quick virtual tour on this lovely Land Cruiser 76 series that we've got available at the moment. Now, a little bit about us here in Cairns before I jump into the video. This is one of our two pre-owned yards here. Obviously you drove past and saw the Cruiser, so you're pretty aware of our yard here. Also across the road, we've got Toyota brand new vehicles, Lexus of Cairns, and just Toyota service just behind us here as well. Uh, but without going too much further into us, I'll jump straight into the video tour for you. Just want to do an exact condition report for you, just to let you know if there's any sort of stone chip scratches, what the underbody looks like and everything like that. But as you can see, all nice and clean through here. Obviously the bonnet protector doing its job, no major stone chips or anything like that through there. Obviously has your GME UHF aerial just there. Has it got this ARB bull bar, side rails and side steps as well. So this thing's absolutely kitted out as well as those rogue spotlights as well. So all nice and tidy down here. Doesn't have a winch in there at the moment. So if that's something that you want to do, obviously you can put that in there in the bull bar as well. So it is winch compatible. All nice and clean down here. Nothing I can really point out there. It has a genuine uh, Toyota snorkel. Obviously being that 70th anniversary, it's got this, um, the blacked out guards as well. So all nice and clean through there. All right, I'll come down the uh, the left hand side before I work my way down the right. Obviously has the ARB side bars protecting this side. It's all nice and clean and then a different batch than the usual Land Cruisers, but all nice and tidy through there. Looks like a near new tire on here as well. Really, really clean. No stone chips, scratches or anything like that in the wheel there. And then again, coming under the underbody, obviously has really low Ks, but a little bit of dirt on there, but no rusting, anything like that through there. All nice and tidy under the underbody. All right, coming through the windscreen here. No chips, cracks, anything like that up close as you can see there. Jumping up onto the roof rack here. All nice and tidy through the front of the roof. And then the roof rack as well. Really, really clean. Nothing I can really point out to you there. All already mounted and ready to go. So coming down the passenger side here. Doors are all clean, no stone chips or marks or anything I can point out there. Got your Toyota Genuine weather shields on the front there. Coming through the back, obviously you got that 70th anniversary badge on there. All nice and clean, obviously like I said, it's got those gloss black guards. And all nice and clean through the passenger rear door as well. Near new tires on the back there for you too. And obviously really, really clean through there. Yokohama all terrains as well, so top quality tire. All nice and tidy under the underbody here. Jump through the back door now. Obviously got the barn door openings to the side. I'll quickly unlock the car and I'll go just a quick one into the back before I jump into the interior after going down the right hand side. But full size spare tire, brand new tire as well. And a nice alloy wheel, that's all ready to go. So nice and clean. Nothing I can really point out to you there as well. Does have the uh, reverse camera that looks like it's been fitted on there as well. So I'll go through with that. Uh, sorry, I'll go through that with you in a second. In the back here, has got an Anderson plug hooked up already, and your speakers in the back all ready to go. Nice and clean, there's no scratching or anything. Carpet floors, obviously, and does have this mounted little rack up here for a bit of extra storage space in the Cruiser. Going down the right hand side now for you. Try and tiptoe my way down the right. There's just a bit of a of a paint mark in there we might be able to get that buffed out i can have a look at that for you but if not i did want to make you aware that that is there otherwise all nice and clean obviously got that 70th anniversary badge on the right hand side as well all nice and clean got the uh driver's weather shield up here too just a bit of dirt on there same as there it's just a very minor little scuff there now i can have that brush touched obviously it won't come up perfect um but i'll just blend that in so it doesn't look like it same as that one just there otherwise basically immaculate on the outside just those two little marks that i can see there all right coming through the interior here really really clean got your carpet flooring as well as a set of rubber mats in the back so whoever's spent the money on this one hasn't uh, hasn't obviously spared a cent making it exactly what it is leather seats being the 70th anniversary so that's all nice and clean through there no rips tears or anything in the leather all nice and tidy through there. Through the back of the front seats as well. They're all really clean. Get your little pouches as well. And the roof lining's all nice and tidy through there as well. Closing that one up and I'll jump into the driver's seat here. Go through some of the features. Obviously being the 70th anniversary, 
It's got these blacked out gloss parts. Got your mirror controls on there. Um, obviously the leather in the front as well as your carpet uh, floors and the rubber floor mats. A little bit of wear just in the driver's seat. Obviously you're gonna get that from people just jumping straight in and out from there. All nice and clean otherwise. Really tidy on the passenger seat through there. Floor mats are all four. I'll jump inside, give you a quick rundown through here. All right, so I'll just put this seat back for a second so I can get in here and start it up. Obviously got your key start, does have your two keys, your main and your spare remote, as well as those three other keys as well. Obviously starting it up now, starts up nice and easy for us there. I'll go through the kilometers first, 36,954. Going through the outside, you'd think it'd have like 10,000 kilometers. So in really, really good condition. No engine warning lights or anything like that. Does have the nice steering wheel being the 70th anniversary. So just has the cruise control back here as well. And coming up through the dash, has a dash mat. Otherwise nice and clean underneath it. Obviously having a cruiser, you know what these things are like, but got your 70th anniversary badging through there. Nice big touchscreen head unit. Obviously it all works well. And then I'll just get to a radio station, turn the volume up. You're number one. Obviously all works through there. Um, does have your GME radio. Obviously that's not actually flashing, so I'll get you a better look at that. Just um, the camera always makes it look like it's playing up, but all mounted up here, ready to go. Got that um, magnetic mount there. Your diff lock obviously just under the steering wheel there. Air conditioning controls does have a quad lock already mounted here as well so if you do have one of those cases for your phone snap it straight on there um, all nice and clean here obviously the manual transmission i'll show you that reverse camera here while we're in the front all nice and easy to use uh, obviously all mounted through here you got your four wheel drive gear stick down here as well as your couple of usb points under there got the nice center console already built in here um, and obviously that leather center console as well all nice and easy to use Obviously you've got that extra storage space down there as well as a couple of USB points, as well as that little tub that mounts in the front there. All right, last thing I'll go through is just the service history. Obviously that's a pretty, pretty important part. Did have cap price servicing on it, so it's probably used a few of them already. It was bought originally in Townsville. Obviously I can't show you the previous owner's details in here, but just let you know that. Um, been serviced to the Toyota dealership as well. So first one there at 6,000 kilometers. Then at 16,000 kilometers. So they've serviced it by time, a set of Ks. 27,000 kilometers there. And then 34,000 kilometers. So it's used, uh, and then 36,000. So it's used five of those cap price servicings already. So I think, uh, and then we've serviced it at 36,000 again. So it's, um, let's have a look through here. So that would have all been, that's all through Toyota dealerships. So we've um, serviced it just again at October there. Um, I know that's been genuine as well, so that'll be the probably the sixth cap price uh, Service through there. Yeah, that is so those cap prices will all be used up there just from um, the services that have been used Obviously servicing costs are a little bit cheaper now on these cruises than they used to be but um, Obviously they're all gone that I just wanted to point out but otherwise all nice and clean Everything's all mounted, ready to go. That'll be your switch for your spotlights and everything through here. Um, if you did have any questions or anything like that that I might have missed, please let me know, um, as I'm happy to go over that again for you. But obviously a really clean cruiser, ready to go for you today. I um, hope you have enjoyed my virtual tour and I can't wait to hear what you think. Thanks again, Jamie. Cheers.